Well, good evening, Tim. Carroll, just 32 years old when he died at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. I spoke with his brother Chris earlier today, who says the family is, of course, devastated, shaken, and confused by his death, saying they never saw this coming. He didn't show any signs of depression. But instead of focusing on his death, they want to talk about his life, one that touched so many lives in the hockey world, including dozens right here in Bakersfield. Well before walking through the doors of Rambobank Arena and before taking the ice in Condorstown in December of 2013, Andrew Carroll was just a kid who loved hockey. Born outside of St. Paul, he went to the University of Minnesota Duluth, where he was the only player in school history to hold some form of team captain all four years. I haven't heard one negative thing ever said about that guy, and uh, I don't think there ever will be because... Uh, he was, a, he was a cool guy. A five-year journeyman through the A and ECHL. He was assigned to Bakersfield the same week as goalie Lauren Brussois. We kind of had like pre-Carroll and Brussois stats and then post-Carroll and Brussois stats. The Condors were in last place when Carroll, the glue guy on the team, helped lead a charge into the playoffs. A guy who you're not going to look at and go, wow, we led the team in scoring or wow, we had the most goals on the team. He may not have had the most, but he certainly scored some of the team's biggest. He scored the game winner in the series opener with Utah, and then in game four. Andrew Carroll in overtime! Condors take a 3-1 series lead! The team would beat Utah, then Stockton, before falling to Alaska in the Western Conference Finals, and in doing so, ending Carroll's 50-game stretch with the team. The grind line again! Andrew Carroll on the deflection! Eight goals measure his impact on the ice, but what's harder to measure is his impact off it. Whether it was skate with the teams or heading to hospitals or visiting schools or, or checking out kids and, and seeing what was going on, he had time for everybody. And the family issued a statement via Facebook saying they're deeply moved by the idea that Andrew touched so many lives as well as donating his brain to CTE research. As Tim said, they will also or excuse me, it, it's already been done. Andrew has donated his heart and organs so that others might live with a successful transplant. Again, the Condors set to have a moment of silence for Andrew Carroll just before puck drops tonight at seven o'clock. For now, live at Rabobank Arena, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.